my name is Ocean Robbins, and I want to talk with you today about food and about the food revolution. You see, food is kind of a big deal in my family, and it has been for a few generations. My grandfather, Irvin Robbins, was the co-founder of an ice cream company. It was called Baskin Robbins. My dad, John, grew up with an ice cream cone-shaped swimming pool. He was groomed from his earliest childhood to one day take over and run the family company. But when he was in his early 20s, my dad was offered that chance. He said no. He walked away from the company and from any access to the family wealth. He wanted to, as we jokingly say in my family, follow his own rocky road. He went on to become a best-selling author on issues of food and health. Now my dad and I, we've joined forces and we've launched the Food Revolution Network. We, and more than 150,000 members, are working for healthy, sustainable, humane, and delicious food for everybody. Now, here's how I see it. Food 1.0 was about survival. If you could get enough calories to fill your belly and carry on for another day, in Food 1.0, that's success. And for many people in the world, tragically, it's still where it's at. Now, in Food 2.0, which is the dominant in reality in much of the developed world these days, the fundamental organizing principle of food is commerce. Modern supermarkets might stock more than 500 different kinds of breakfast cereals. We've got this huge array of flavors and textures and styles to choose from, and most of us can access food that's growing 6,000 miles away and processed 2,000 miles away at any local store. Now, our modern food system has become financially profitable for a few, but it's become morally bankrupt for all of us. In Food 2.0, it's now considered normal to eat food that's laced with added sugars, chemicals, flavorings, colors, pesticides, hormones, GMOs, even antibiotics. Our food system has become in many ways toxic, and it is now contributing to epidemic rates of illness. In the U.S., more than two-thirds of our population is now overweight or obese. Heart disease and stroke are killing more than 700,000 people every year. The National Institutes of Health reports that in the 1960s, less than 2% of America's kids had a chronic health condition. Today, it's over 25%. One in three American children is expected to get diabetes. We can do better, and because we can do better, we must do better. As you probably already know, all of these conditions are directly linked to our food choices. Food 2.0 has brought us a system that's systematically cruel to farm workers and animals, unsustainable for our planet, and it's killing millions. That's why it's time for Food 3.0. In Food 3.0, the central organizing principle of our food systems is health. Health for people and health for the planet. Food 3.0 means vastly lower rates of chronic illness. It can save us trillions of dollars in medical care. It can lead to a healthier and a more capable population. Food 3.0 means a more sustainable and a more productive economy. And let me be very clear, I've got no problem with people making money. I just want to see healthy profits made from healthy food. The good news is that Food 3.0 isn't just some idealistic hippie's dream. It is becoming reality for millions of people. Since 1987, organic food sales in the U.S. have increased over 26-fold. Consumption of feedlot beef has dropped by more than 19%. In the last 10 years, farmers' markets have increased over threefold. Sales of natural foods have grown to be a $100 billion industry. Sales of certified non-GMO foods have gone from nothing to over $5 billion in just the last three years. I want to thank you for every way that you take a stand for a transformation in our food systems. You stand for a food revolution every time you choose real food over processed junk. Every time you say yes to local, organic, natural, sustainable, fair trade, non-GMO food that's produced with respect for farm workers, for animals, for people, for your body, and for our planet. Every time you stand for food, not just as a commodity, but also as a community. Food is a web of relations that literally becomes us. I want to thank you for all the ways that you seek to create congruence between your values for your life and the world and the food that you take into your body. Step by step, one bite at a time, we are changing the future of food and we're changing it together. 
So go ahead and enter your email address right on this page and we will give you our free Real Food Action Guide. We'll give you tips, tools, resources and breaking news to empower you to live the food revolution every day of your life. Thank you so much.